Hello everyone and I have a very beautiful chess game to show you. Uh, this is one of the chess games uh, from the World Rapid Chess Championship uh, from 2022. A very recent chess game. I also put the flags and the chess ratings of the players. Uh, so let's see what happened in this chess game. In this chess game, uh, as you can see, Ian Nepomniachi is 27-66. And his opponent is 25-22. Nepomniachi outrates his opponent massively. So let's see what happened in this chess game. And don't just watch it, but try to guess the winning moves at the critical moment of this chess game. It's a very instructive chess game. So Nepomniachi starts the game with pushing the e4, e pawn to e4, c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, e6, and we are going for the open Sicilian a6 and this is known as the Khan variation or the Polsen variation knight to c3 queen to c7 and then pushing the f pawn by Nepomniachi and then pushing the g pawn very ambitious and very aggressive developing the knight and then g5 kicking the knight back super aggressive and confident knight to a5 queen to e2 b5 Nepomniachi castled from the queen side Bishop to b7, f5. Of course, black didn't want to open the e file, so e5. Pushing the pawn and closing. Knight goes back, knight to c4. And then knight to d5, bishop takes on d5, rook takes on d5. Rook over, creating a battery on the c file. Bishop goes back, so in this position, black already has a threat. A knight takes bishop, and you can capture the bishop because of Queen takes on c2, checkmate, so bishop goes back, defending, and then knight from d to b6, and Napomniachi is moving the same piece once again because of, a, because of a good reason, bishop takes on b6, queen takes on b6, and then rook goes back, bishop to e7, finally developing the bishop, and black is ready to castle, king over, and then h6, challenging the pawn, well, black still haven't castled, but if castling, it looks pretty intimidating with pushing the h-pawn, h4. And as you can see, white has pawn storm in the king side, and this looks very dangerous for black. So first of all, black played h6, black felt uncomfortable. And Nepomniachi played very exciting f6, pushing the pawn and attacking. G takes on f6, sacrificing a pawn for creating weakness at the light squares. Bishop to h3 first after defending the rook. Not capturing the pawn, but pushing the pawn g6. Another pawn sacrifice by Nepomniachi. But we have h5, not capturing the pawn. What happens if capturing the pawn? If f takes on g6, then black is suffering because of the weakness at the light squares. So let's play a random move just to point up. Uh, what's happening uh, just to point out then knight to h4 so targeting the g pawn if g5 that is going to be a fatal mistake because of check and then check mate there is no defense so in this position g6 and not capturing the pawn h5 and then knight to h4 by Nepomniachi, f takes on g6, knight takes on g6, forking the bishop and the rook, so defending the rook, and then defending queen to g2 and knight to e3, so maybe in this position uh, defending the queen comes to mind, attacking the queen with the knight, what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces, can you guess the next move? For Nepo. Well, he actually played a winning move in this position, so can you guess the best move for white at this moment of the game? Try to guess the move for white. Let me wait for a couple of seconds. If you need, you can also pause the video and try to guess the next move for white. Let me give you a small tip. White has winning move, but you have to see the two best moves for white. What would you do? Okay, so 
Nepomnia cheese sacrifice the exchange. Who rook takes on e3? What else? Queen takes on e3, and then knight takes on e7. Black is still suffering because of not castling and not capturing the knight. But queen goes back. Queen to g5. So let's see what happens if capturing the knight. If king takes on e7, then queen check, and after only move, king goes up. Not uh, checking or something. Bishop to e6. And how to defend the checkmate threat? Queen to f7, checkmate. How to defend? Well, computer engine says rook to h7 for not getting checkmated, for prolonging the game. And then computer engine says queen to c1, so there is no defense, as you can see. So this is why rook takes on e3 and then knight takes on e7. But then queen to g5. And it looks like, well, white needs to defend the queen or white needs to capture the queen. But if exchanging the queens, uh, actually, that is not very good for white. So what would you do in this position? Can you guess the next move for white? It is white to move and win. Maybe uh, retreating the knight comes to mind. So this is not so easy, but this is also one of the winning moves. Uh, and not every move is winning for white. So can you can you guess the best move once again? Let me drink a water while you are thinking. Okay, so did you see the move? This is what Nepomniachi played. Queen to f2. Not defending the knight. Not exchanging the queens. But queen to f2. And sacrificing the knight. But we have f5. What happens if accepting the sacrifice? Well, actually that is deadly. Queen to a7 check is a very good move. But rook to g1 is even more crushing. So after defending the queen, only then checking the king. And actually black is getting checkmated by force. There is no defense. Checkmate. So this is why queen to f2 was a very strong move. So defending, uh, but then of course not capturing the knight. Knight takes on f5. Defending the rook, rook to f1. And black resigned. How to defend? Checking the king and then checkmating the king. Actually, there is no sensible defense. Black has to play something like queen to f6 and then queen to a7. And white is winning easily. Everything is falling apart. As you can see, this is all over for black. This is why black resigned. A very instructive chess game by Ian Nepomniachi. So, did you see the key moves? Especially at this moment, queen to f2 was a crushing move, sacrificing the knight as well. So, okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.